Hello, this is Lil Spinky93, and I'm going to show you how to uh, get Shock uh, Desktop 3D, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay, um, you're going to click on the link I provided for you in the description on your right, and it's going to bring you to here. This is what it's going to look like, and what you're going to do, you're going to click on that, and then you're going to open it. Or if that doesn't work, you could open up that, but you have to have uh, WinRAR and uh, you have to extract all the files to your desktop. So once you download that, you should get uh, what you've been, well, the download. And it should look like that. And you're going to click on that, and it's going to change all your uh, icons and stuff to look like. Well, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look like flat rectangles. And, uh, yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, and, uh, what you can do, well, you can, you already saw my video, but I'm going to show you some, like, a close-up of what you can do. Uh, you, you got all these options. You got icon size, which you can, um, change smaller, smallest to biggest. Then you got the icon type, or it could be a rectangle, or it could be a cube. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's the cube. And then uh, you can have arrange to like auto arrange, where it puts it all in order, 
or you can do a um, stack icon but you have the you got to select all of them and then you have to go to average arrange uh, icons my bad and stack them <laughs> they're all cubes so it's weird but that's what it looks like um let's do this arrange okay that's a really big one you can change individually uh, individual icons just like click on that click on the icon and then you go to icon size and you can change them individually um that's pretty much it for all that but then you can go down to your uh, little icon on the bottom right you right click on that and then you go to options and then you got all this stuff uh, I never messed with the effects stuff, but I do mess around with the themes. Um, you can change all of them. Um, you can set this to none and just change colors. But um, uh, I'll show you how to get themes. You go to uh, this link, theme doc, whatever. You just click on that, and it will pop up. A window. <coughs> okay, um, it's gonna bring you to this, and it's gonna show you all your options that you have. And simply, you just click on uh, one of them. And then you go to the first download link. You click on that. you can you push save save it to your desktop click save okay wait for it to load and then you're gonna um open up your folder and you're gonna find your download just find water one right click on it you gotta click on open with and then you're just gonna push ok and then what then will be now you have it and now it's in your list and then you can just keep on doing that if you want all the themes on that website that is located right here under your options um you could change all your like colors and stuff on the icon link bar thing right there um and you just mess around with it and it's really cool um it's better than well I don't know for the bump one but it looks kind of cool this one looks better well not much better but this one's free you don't have to pay for anything but I'm sure the new uh bump top thing is probably going to be like 20 something dollars or something like that but this is 10 times better than the real uh, desktop one. So, because I download that and it's not that cool. And it's really laggy. This works perfectly fine. If it seems a little laggy to use because of my screen recorder, but it's really good. It takes up like no space, anyways. So, um, this is a little Spanky93, and I just showed you how to do that. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching.